HIV is a single-stranded positive sense enveloped retrovirus. Each virion is made up of a lipid bilayer with a capsid inside it containing two copies of an RNA genome, as well as reverse transcriptase, protease, and integrase. The viral envelope is derived from the lipid bilayer of a host cell and has glycoproteins sticking out of it necessary for the virus to infect cells. These glycoproteins, GP120 and GP41, together form GP160. A trimer with three pairs of GP120 and GP41 glycoproteins forms an envelope spike complex. The capsid is a protein shell that protects the genome. Reverse transcriptase, integrase, and protease get to work once HIV is inside a host cell and we'll get to that soon. First, let's follow HIV's life cycle. Infection most commonly results from sexual contact, though it is also possible to contract HIV from contaminated needles or, in rare cases, from blood products such as blood transfusions. It is also possible for babies to get HIV from their mothers while in utero or from breastfeeding. Fortunately, you can't get HIV from casual contact, the air, water, or mosquitoes. How does HIV enter cells? GP120 binds the CD4 glycoprotein. This triggers a conformational change that exposes binding sites for a co-receptor, either CCR5 or CXCR4. CCR5 is found on T-cells, macrophages, monocytes, and dendritic cells, while CXCR4 is found exclusively on T-cells. Anyway, further conformational changes reveal the fusion peptides of GP41. These fusion peptides are inserted into the host cell membrane, and HIV's viral envelope can now fuse to it. The presence of both the CD4 glycoprotein and its co-receptor are essential for HIV to enter a host cell. Since almost all HIV-1 isolates are successfully transmitted using the CCR5 co-receptor, people with homogeneous mutations in their CCR5 are basically immune to HIV, and even heterozygous mutations can slow the infection's progression. HIV's single-stranded RNA gets reverse transcribed by reverse transcriptase into a double-stranded piece of DNA. As the reverse transcriptase goes about this process, the capsid uncoats. The double-stranded piece of DNA associates with integrase and is brought into the nucleus. There, integrase integrates the HIV DNA into the cell's genome. This DNA is termed proviral DNA, and viral RNAs get transcribed from it. Many other retroviruses wait until mitosis, when the nuclear membrane is broken down, to get their genome integrated. But HIV interacts with proteins of the nuclear pore and gets admitted. Once HIV's proviral DNA is integrated into the host cell's genome, it cannot be eliminated except by killing the host cell. The viral DNA is transcribed and translated into viral polyproteins, which move to the surface of the cell and form an immature HIV. This HIV pushes itself out of the cell grabbing part of the cell's membrane to form the viral envelope. Protease comes in and cleaves the polyproteins at nine cleavage sites to create mature protein components. And now we have a new HIV virion. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. It would help me make more videos. And make sure to comment with any topics you'd like me to cover in future videos. Also, it would be really nice if you could support me on Patreon. Thank you.